Welcome to the Met Office 10 day trends. Temperatures will need to be monitored over the next 10 days, but we're not looking at anything as extreme as we saw on Tuesday. All that extreme heat is now being steadily pushed away by weather fronts and some, something cooler arriving in the short term. Then eyes look down to the south with the potential for some heavy thundery showers to affect parts of the south on Friday, but they'll be very much hit and miss. After that, well, we're mostly looking out to the Atlantic as low pressure starts to move in, isobars fairly close together and weather fronts drifting across the country. That will bring clouds and some outbreaks of rain and generally a fresher feel as we head into the early part of next week. However, if we rewind and put the temperatures back on, yes, that really hot air drifts away, but some very warm air, never too far away from the far south. And as I said, there's the potential for some thunderstorms on Friday. And then the warm air is tucked in here across parts of England and Wales for Saturday and Sunday. So temperatures could tick up back to the high 20s, possibly even the low 30s across the southeast and East Anglia on Sunday, but it's going to be quite a contrast with much cooler conditions further north and west with those weather fronts bringing the cloud and the outbreaks of rain and uh, a fairly brisk breeze as well. So quite a contrast as we go through the weekend. We'll see some wet weather coming into the northwest from this weather front. But also timing is a little uncertain on this particular cold front when it will move across the UK, as is shown here by the European model spaghetti plot. The UK is under here and each of these blue lines represents a different run of the computer model and where it thinks the cold front will be. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see quite a range here. That cold front could be pushing down across the southeast by midnight on Sunday, but it may still also be lingering across parts of northern England. So there is a bit of uncertainty, as I said, about the timing of that uh, cold front as it comes in. But however, it does drift across the UK, the exact timing of it, it does look like it will push across by the time we get to Monday and that low pressure system will be nearby. However, down to the southwest, high pressure is also not too far away. And that is going to try and build back in as we go through the early part of next week. And with the high down here, low up to the uh, northeast, the winds coming in from the northwest, that means fresher air across much of the UK. So yes, after some warmth returns at the weekend, it's likely to turn cooler and fresher again for the early part of next week. So something of a roller coaster ride with our temperatures. This is the meteogram uh, for Birmingham, the temperature plot, the box and whiskers plot. Again, when we run the computer model several times, this is the European model. And you can see here a trend with temperatures dipping down over the next few days after the extreme heat, but then rising up again as we go into the weekends before dipping off again. So as I said, up, down, up, down, and then signs next week, perhaps of temperatures starting to rise. That's the average line. That's the extreme line across the uh, uh, top of the screen there. Nothing like the temperatures, of course, that we've just seen, but suggestions that temperatures could then start to pick up again back above average towards the back end of next week. If we look at the pressure pattern though, it's messy. We've uh, shown these plenty of times before on the Met Office 10 day trend. Previous computer model runs down the Y axis uh, days ahead going there along the top. Red is high pressure. Strong signal for that over the next few days before we see that low moving in and mixing things up. But next week, very wishy washy, only pale colors there suggesting not a strong signal and things have been changing over recent runs as well. So I say not a strong signal for a particular pressure pattern. That's fairly typical actually at this time of year. And what it does mean is that we're most likely to see the wettest weather in the Northwest uh, with low pressure nearby here and high pressure most likely further south and west as well. So what we can say about next week, temperatures back close to average, at least to start with, but we will need to keep an eye on those higher temperatures, perhaps coming back across parts of the south. For those desperate for some rain, well, yes, some heavy showers possible on Friday. There's that weakening front pushing through Sunday and Monday, but not a lot apart from that across parts of the south. And into next week, looks like we'll see most of the showery rain across northern and western parts of the UK. Keep up to date with the very latest day-to-day -day variations by making sure you're following the Met Office right across social media.